Hello, beautiful friend. I pray that this finds you well. It is a bright, sunny day today, and that makes me very happy. Um, okay, so a couple of things. Today's, today's Thursday. Short day for Mila. Christopher asked if I'd bring him lunch today. It's already 9.30, so I only have an hour and a half before I have to do that. And then I'll pick up Mila after, shortly after that. So it doesn't give me much time to do what I want to do, I guess. Um, Jason's truck broke down. And then Jason's van broke down. Truck was the day before. It was on a Halloween night. And then the van was last night. And so I got the honor and privilege of getting up at 3.15 a.m. to take him to work. Which was... It's fine. I mean, it's really cold. And I don't like driving in the dark. And my sleep got totally interrupted. And then it was hard to go back to sleep when I got home. And then it was really hard to get out when my alarm went off. But, uh, you know, we did it. It's all done. Um, you might notice that my hair is pretty much straight. It's as straight as it's going to get because I'm not using a straight iron on it. Um... It's a good way to see all of the... I did it on purpose. That's what I, I was going to say. I did it on purpose. Um, and I just... Somebody... I watched a video that somebody had done about how to air dry your hair straight if you have cur or wavy curly hair. The first day didn't work so well, um, in my opinion, but... But, um, day... Two and three. three. Every day that goes by is getting better. It's uh, more smooth. So anyway, I just, I don't know if I'll... It's nice to have the option of doing a change. I'm a little bit stressed because Jason doesn't have a vehicle. And he's trying to figure out what to do about that. And so, he was supposed to take the kids to see Blippi in, um, at SIU in Springfield. It's at 6 o'clock on Friday night. I mean, I committed to taking the kids. And then I asked him if he would do it. And he said yes. And so, I had in my brain that he was going to be able to take the kids. And I could just go ahead and um, take my pre-work snooze and then they would get home I'd hear all about it and then I would go to work but it doesn't look like that's going to happen and so now I'm trying to figure out how to get a nap in tomorrow because usually on Fridays I go and do plasma and then um, grocery order and then nap and then somebody picks the kids up and takes Rod or Jason picks the kids up from school and uh, has them but tomorrow, I was supposed to meet with with um, your favorite person for breakfast. So I've asked your favorite person if um, we could move our get-together until Monday lunch. If we can't, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll do the uh, grocery order pickup for when Rod can do it because he doesn't have anything. You won't have kids or anything. And then um, I'll just go and get plasma and then come home and nap. Oh, I told you that my house was getting to be a mess. And um, I ended up um, cleaning it up a little bit because DCFS came for a visit. They have to come once a month to do a, um, a visit. But um, they also came with good news. The ICWA, which is the Indian, I don't know what ICWA stands for, um, have no claim to Mila. And just to refresh that issue, 
Um, Mila is my granddaughter and I've had um, her, I've been her foster parent since like four days in and with the goal of adoption and um, she is, she turned three in August. <laughs> they, um, the paperwork, um, my daughter put on her paperwork that she was a percentage of American Indian which couldn't be proved, but if they had processed the paperwork initially, it would have already been taken care of, but somebody missed it. And then by the time we got to do the um, adoption stuff, it was caught. And so then they had to submit the paperwork to the Indian um, committee so that they could determine whether or not they had um, a interest in, in Mila. And that took, that took like eight months to do. And now, um, we have a, but now they're done. Uh, there's a few pieces of paperwork that still have to be filled out. Mila has to have her eyes checked and a physical, and then they can, um, submit that to the adoption committee. So there's a court date on the 9th it, that should, the judge should say, uh, be informed that um, the last bits of paperwork are being completed. We can move to adoption. Um, he'll continue it for six months. So they'll move another, uh, have another court date in six months. And then once everything is completed on the DCFS paperwork side, they'll submit it to the adoption people. And then the, they'll um, contact the judge and say, we're ready. Can we move the, the date up? So hopefully, I don't, I mean, I'm just hoping I, I would have I would have hoped that we had this done by the time she was two, but it looks like we might be um, getting lucky to get it done by the time she's four. But it doesn't impact her and it doesn't impact us in any way, shape, or form. We are her people. She is she is ours. It's just a, a formality. And once the adoption is finalized, then DCFS won't be visiting anymore, that kind of thing, to do her well checks and stuff. Um, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, I wish I could be more excited about that, but, but I know it's just still... I'm relieved. I'm relieved that there weren't any issues with the Indian um, committee because they could, they could, it's my understanding, if she had been truly um, had Indian blood in her, they could have claimed her somehow. I don't know how that works, but she, I knew she didn't and doesn't. It's just been a stress. And so I'm relieved that that's over, but we're still not, <laughs> we're still not done. We just next step. Anyway, I'm going to go and do what I got to do. I pray for you, my dear friend, that you are able to take a breath and experience the joy that the love of Jesus gives us for just a moment in amongst the hecticness of your day. I look forward very much to seeing your favorite person as soon as I can. It's always good to spend time in her company. She's such a precious person. Anyway, I um, have to remember everything happens for a reason. There's a reason I'm going to see Blippi. <laughs> anyway, everything happens for a reason. Lord willing and the creek don't rise any higher. <laughs> I'll talk to you again as soon as I can. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.